else, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I am doing a get ready with me. I'm about to do this look for you because I'm going to my husband's holiday party this evening and I wanted to do a flawless for the holidays tutorial. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it. I love doing tutorials like this, but I first want to start off with thanking Sephora for partnering with me on this video. There is a surprise event going on right now until the 12th of December. It is called the Beauty for All event, and you can use the code GIFTEASY, all one word, one time. You can use it online or you can use it in store. And everything I use in this video you can see in the description box and it's all listed out there for you because these are some of my tried and true Sephora favorites to give you that flawless look and that flawless feeling for the holidays. They have three tiers of rewards. I have been a Rouge for a very long time and that link will be also in the description box. So if you would like to sign up for their rewards program, that link is in the description. All right, well, let's get to this tutorial. I'm so excited. I actually do everything from hair all the way down through skincare and then obviously to makeup. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, we're doing the whole thing today. I'm super excited. So I'm gonna start with this product right here. It's by Amika. It's called The Wizard. It's a detangling primer. And you're supposed to put it all through the hair on damp hair. And it is also a heat protectant. Ooh, that smells good. All right. I'm gonna brush that through. I am so excited about this. This is also by Amika and it's gonna provide large, bouncy, kind of a really great blowout. And then there's also a setting down here for um, temperature. Okay, so for me personally, I need to like turn it up. So I just went under and then I went kind of flipped it back. So I did section my hair so I can get each piece really nice and slick. So I'm going to do that all over my head. You guys, that is literally the fastest, easiest, and be most beautiful blow dry. I mean, I literally took me maybe seven minutes to blow dry my whole head and give it a really nice sleek look. I love that machine and my favorite thing to do though is you're going to pull it through like this at the very end and kind of you know manipulate the ends and that's how you get this kind of salon professional look with this with this look at that though isn't that gorgeous okay so i am absolutely obsessed cut my time down in half. All right, let's get onto the face. Okay, I just pinned my hair up so I look a little crazy just to get out of my face and also hold the volume. So another step to be getting flawless for the holidays is Dermaflash. In my book, this is one of the most simplest yet effective things you can do to reverse texture on the skin as well as obviously remove all the vellus hair so the skin glows it's a great exfoliation tool as well as it makes your foundation just lay flawlessly so derma flash in my books is a must i just want to show you do you see this this is dead skin and hair. Isn't that disgusting? That's why it's really best to do this over a sink. Okay, so now after you flash, it's really important to keep the skincare very hydrating yet very gentle. So I am going in with some of my favorite products. You know this, I'm going in with my Tatcha Essence. This amazing set. All right, so we're going to use a little bit of the essence. I have loved, I have loved this for a million years. I've talked about it so, so much. I am gonna do two skins of it just because we kind of really exfoliated kind of a, a lot there. So I wanna make sure the skin is nice and prepped and hydrate, hydrated. Oh, I could bathe in that stuff. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I am going to put on my Josie Moran Argon Milk while the essence is still wet. It's Josie Moran's version of an essence. So now we're going in with the Silk Cream. Flawless makeup application always starts with great hydrated skin. All right, next we're gonna go in with the Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas. 
as my primer. Just a little bit here in the center of my face. Since the party's gonna be a couple of hours, I wanna make sure that this stays in place. And don't forget, this primer can go all over the face, so under the eyes, eyelids, lips. All right, so now, while that kind of sits and sets and does its thing, we're gonna start with the eyes. I'm going for a kind of sultry yet professional, it's my husband's holiday party, so I need to keep it real nice and um, approachable. So we're gonna do something, but it looks really kind of, um, D done up a little bit, right? It looks a little professional. So I am actually going in with the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. It looks like this. So for this look, we're gonna layer several colors, but we're gonna start off with this bone color right here. And like I normally do, I'm gonna layer this all over the lid. Now we're gonna go in with this camel color right here, and I'm gonna start to build this crease. There we go. And then I'm gonna kind of dance back and forth into kind of these right here. And I'm going to start adding a little bit more depth to this crease. Now remember, if you've watched my other videos, the do not pass line right here at the end of your eye where your bottom lash line would go straight back to your hair. So you wanna make sure you don't pass that. But also giving the crease a really nice, beautiful definition like this is going to make everyone's eye shape appear larger, um, more defined, less hooded, and also it's just a really classic, beautiful look. And now we're gonna go into this deeper color right here, this brownish color, and we're gonna build up the outer corner a little bit. Almost as if it was a large flick. So I'm just kinda going like this. I'm using really, really light pressure. And I'm bringing it onto the lid ever so slightly. There we go, you can see it's kind of this sultry, um, almond-shaped eye coming into effect. Now we're gonna go into the black in the palette, and we're gonna start to really give this Ange Angelina Jolie flick realness. You guys trust me. You have to try this look, and it is flawless on everyone. I don't take the liner all the way in, and this is on a very tiny brush. And then we're just going to really define right out here. I used to work with one of Angelina Jolie's old makeup artists back in the day, and this is very similar to how she used to do her makeup. All right, I think this is a great place to stop and uh, finish the foundation and kind of reevaluate from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my closest cloud powder, this guy right here, and this is in Cloud Set. And I'm actually going to use the powder first. If you saw in my other video about large pores, this is a great way to let your makeup last all day. It really gives the appearance of flawless skin, and then it also helps those large pores and set that makeup. All right, now we're gonna take uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and I'm going to give the face a nice dousing of that. And again, what that's gonna do is it's gonna melt the powder into the skin, but it's also gonna give us another layer of longevity and flawlessness. Going in with my tried and true LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation on a beauty blender. And that powder first actually will give a little bit more coverage too, to your foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with Ilya's True Skin Serum Concealer, just a touch right here, a touch right here. And actually I'm gonna take my damp beauty, beauty blender, put it into my Kosas powder just a little bit on the edge and just lightly press this powder into this area right here. And this is really gonna set this area nicely. Now I'm gonna take a Butter Biscuit by Fenty Beauty. And we're just gonna do a little cream bronzer. Flicking in upward motions because we don't want anything to drag our face down. And you wanna go up into the temple. And this way, and you can do this with a brush or your beauty blender. I prefer with a brush, I'm using really light, light pressure. A little right here, slim the neck. 
Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm gonna go right back into my Kosas powder and I'm just gonna gently go up and around the middle of the face, just to set it a little bit, just to keep it on all night. Going in with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, again in upward motions right over that cream. And this layering will help keep this on a lot longer and it also just adds another layer of dimension skin is just starting to look really really flawless one of my oldies but goodies ecstasy by charlotte tilbury is such a beautifully universally flattering blush yeah i mean unstoppable i am going to do another little set of charlotte tilbury setting spray just give that glow right back now to finish off the eyes, I am gonna do a touch of a line underneath. We're gonna go into this super brown shade right here. We're just gonna ever so slightly just give this a little bit of definition. And I take my finger and kind of blend it out. Okay, so now is your time to either put your lashes on or curl your lashes and pop on some mascara. Let's finish up with some brows and lip and get to the final look. Okay, how'd you know? my tried and true Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Mm. Isn't that the perfect color? I'll bring this with me. And then the gloss. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're gonna run a little bit of this Perk Up Dry Shampoo from Amika. And this is just gonna give it even more volume love this okay so here is the final look you guys all of these products are my tried and true the new hair products I'm obsessed with I can't wait to continue to use them let me know what you guys are getting for this event I am so excited about it thank you again to Sephora for partnering with me I'll see you guys in the next one lots of love from me to you bye loves